broke and I ain't got no sweet talking daddy, lend me a dollar bill. I'm broke and I ain't got no sweet talking daddy, lend me a dollar bill. When I'm on the stage, nothing can happen to me. Nothing happens except the music. I'm looking for a daddy, yes indeed I'm ready. I couldn't just go out there and think that people would like me. You have to have a lot for them to see and appreciate. You have to grow into yourself and know who you are out there. Get out there, walk on the stage and take that microphone. When you take that microphone, you're taking everybody with you. Well, now we could be talk of the town. But when I was growing up, I had I, the grand luck of living just a few blocks from the Neville brothers. We would see them every day. There happened to be a bar right around the corner from where I lived. And I do remember one time, uh, Aaron knocking on my grandfather's door. I was raised by my grandparents, and he said, you know, hey, Mr. Mack, how are you? Uh, I just wanted to give you a copy of my, my new 45, and it was Tell It Like It Is. <laughs> just like that. It was sort of like being in a scene that hadn't happened yet. Everything was kind of just starting to cook in terms of the very popular music of the 70s and, and the exposure that New Orleans was gaining and gaining and gaining. But just growing up in it, it took me forever to realize Mardi Gras was not all over the world. Our great food didn't exist everywhere. I miss New Orleans every single day. However, I have this radio show that bridges my connection to New Orleans. This is Sybil Gage on the Stormy Monday Show, and I'm feeling it. Mm-hmm. I was in New York, and how I actually met my husband was that we were uh, working at the same radio station together. I went there and uh, did uh, a sort of an internship for about three or four weeks. He didn't know anything about anything, and I thought, oh my gosh. He really wanted to learn, and he was a very great radio voice, so there was something there to be honed, but it was his love for me, I think. I thought, well, wow, he really likes me a lot, you know? She put her hand on my knee and she just said, you're all right, Billy Gage. And I looked at her and went, oh, took my breath away. There's no answer to the question, how many angels can dance on the head of a pin? But there is an answer to how many can dance on the point of that pin. And that answer is one, and it's Sybil Gage. I want the whole wide world to see her. That's what I want.